Hey there music friends and welcome back for another reaction and analysis video. Today we're going to be listening to the artist Ren and he's going to be doing his tale of Jenny and Screech. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts on this music today down in the comments section. Oh I love this already. Fantastic guitar work. I am going to stop real quick. I'll go back so I don't interrupt it again. But I am going to say this is one of the things that makes me think that he is such an awesome guitar player. You know, his strumming hand and his fretboard hand where he's playing the notes so together and those notes were so fast. That is very difficult to do. That takes so much practice and planning. <laughs> Fantastic guitar work. Fantastic, man. Nice effect. I feel like that effect that he's trying to achieve there is almost like a brass instrument in with his um, guitar playing. That's the kind of vibe that it has. I know I've tried to emulate a brass sounding instrument and um, it would kind of go like that. <clears throat> it was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere in London City. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well, on the very same night, in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street his mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul As Jenny walked home all along she felt scared Usually she was alright but it was like there was something in the air A divine intervention telling her to beware Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared Sirens sound in the distance to the beat of Jenny's feet A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech Give me all your money, give it to me If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free I want your purse, your phone, don't f***ing look at me I mean it, bitch. are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to f***ing God, I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City Jenny lay still on the cold concrete she's far out somewhere to sleep well, she knew this town, she knew this floor Cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before I guess that she escaped It's such a shame Okay Well, I'm gonna make a comment here now that was definitely something I was not expecting. Um, a lot of people in the comments section for the, the high Ren video told me that he is kind of like a bard, a storyteller, the way that he does things. And I can see that. You know, I was very into what he was singing about. Um, I could understand everything he was saying. Sometimes it's hard to understand everything a musician is saying, but with him only doing the guitar, 
and really enunciating and there's not much else going on for me to listen to, it was very easy to hear the lyrics. And um, there, was a, there was a lot of stuff in there and that was kind of a, a bad kind of story. Um, very negative, very bad. And, you know, if you're thinking about the stuff that people told me about that was going on in his life at this time, I can see where that's coming from. You know, uh, bad stuff going on in his head. So bad stuff coming out in his lyrics and his music, too. That's, you know, a tragic, tragic story there. His guitar playing is excellent. His uh, singing and and speaking style that he does mixed in with rap is very unique and interesting. And uh, I love the way he incorporates the rhythmic elements always with his guitar playing. And that adds something to the story. So that was Jenny. And he did mention Screech. And now I think this section is just the Screech part. So um, let's check this out. Very cool slides he put in there. He's kind of doing some arpeggios there. Broken chords. Wow, nice. Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain for the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind that does away Hey babe, are you in? No, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired, listen. Can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the f do you mean you're busy? You f sakes! Huh. I'm gonna stop right there. Even when he's speaking like he was doing there, he's still keeping the, the rhythm, the beat of the song that he set in. So everything he's kind of saying just kind of goes along with that beat that he set in the beginning of the song. That's interesting. Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you let's f have you then? I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my f***ing streets and they call me f***ing Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Interesting, using his guitar as the gun, making that sound. Ah, oh, story it ah. ends. Right I like how that camera acted like. Young 
I like how the camera kind of acted like that was the the guy getting shot and falling. And right to the star, young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless. And it's such a shame It's such a shame hmm. Okay, so now we're into the ending story here with Violet. You know, it's it's kind of interesting the way that he tells this story. I think it's one of those things where, you know, stories like this go on everywhere in the world. And, you know, he's using his art form to kind of point out these things that are going on in life. Not very good things. Um, no one likes to hear these things, but they do happen. Um, it's kind of a sad thing too. Um, it's a very emotional thing. And I think that's what drives Ren is that emotion. He wants to evoke those emotions in us through his music and video and everything else he's doing in his pieces. It's very interesting. Some people in the comments said that, you know, it's like a poetry kind of thing. And, and I can see that it is, it's, it's, uh, it's a whole production. Music is a part of it. So is uh, speaking parts and singing and rapping. So there's so many musical elements, but there's so many more elements than just that. I want to find out what happens here at the end with Violet. Already, that's very somber kind of music to me. So I don't feel like this is going to end well. And he's a fantastic guitar player. Fantastic. I am going to stop and back that up and here's why. If you're playing an electric guitar, the strings are a lot softer to push on. It's very easy to do what he just did on an electric guitar because of the way the strings feel. They feel very, very easy. On an acoustic guitar, the strings feel a little bit harder. They're a little thicker. They're harder to do that and get that sound on unless you really have that finger strength. That really showed how well he plays guitar right there because that sounded amazing. So good. Nice singing. I love the reverb on that too, just that echo. London City, far from pretty, two zero zero five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and bloodstains, she saw a lady weep, she's tired and frail. To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Mm. 
I'm making that face because now I'm starting to think Violet was on the other end of the phone during the Screech part. And Screech has already killed Jenny. And now Jenny's in trouble. Or not Jenny, but um, Violet is in trouble here, according to what Ren is singing about. So this whole thing is probably Screech coming over and maybe beating on her and sending her to the hospital, possibly her dying also. That's the vibe I'm kind of getting here. You can let me know down in the comments section, you know, what my, what my thoughts are here, if I'm on or if I'm off. Nice vibe on the guitar there. Very cool part. Very rhythmic. Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent stars. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a... Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong and but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark Why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstorm. I'm, I'm kind of making those faces because, you know, that's just such bad news when you hear stuff like that. And like I said, stuff like this happens every day. And I have no idea why. No idea why. It makes no sense in my brain when stuff like that happens. Uh, it's interesting that Ren is calling all of these things out. This is very dark. It's very negative, very bad. And I'm not saying, you know, we, we hide ourselves away and we ignore it and it doesn't happen. And it does happen. And, you know, I guess good for Ren that he's pointing that out. He's making that a part of his music and he's calling those things out that it's going on. But, you know, unless we do something about it, you know, it's, it's going to keep happening. And sometimes it's hard to know those things are even happening. Even the people that are a part of it don't want to admit that that's happening. And that's, that's a hard thing. Hard thing. To me, Violet, she stays silent. Things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood black bone, crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet! Silence. Say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. His music is definitely reflecting what's going on in his story.
London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, she was nine months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim. In London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington, just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Wow the arc that Ren took us on through the tale of Jenny and Screech and then finally Violet. This was just completely kind of a downer and very, very sad. Uh, the man is a fantastic storyteller. You know, he got me in Violet to um, start to get teary eyed. That was such a sad thing. Um, you know, when you, when you have something like that happen to someone and then, you know, that end result results in some innocent lives, babies dying. I mean, that's, that's pretty sad. Ren is an incredible storyteller for sure. This was very, very interesting today and very emotional. Don't forget to check out the description down below. I've got links down there where you can go and buy Ren's music, help support the artist. There's links down there for more reaction videos, links down there for my favorite music store. If you enjoyed this content today, something you can do for me that's totally free, click that subscribe button, become a part of the music community. There are so many great artists that people suggest like Ren and others. Become a part of this music community. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts on this incredible piece today and feel free to make suggestions for future videos. If you enjoyed this content today, all you have to do to keep watching is click on another video you see on your screen. I hope you'll come back and watch and listen to more music with me. Thank you so much for being here today and I'll see you next time.